Hey Rifters, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out Loading Human. Now my friend actually pre-ordered this game without having his Oculus Rift. He didn't realize that he wouldn't be able to check it out at all without an Oculus Rift. This game does require the Rift and the Razer Hydras. So he went ahead and brought his laptop over for me to check it out and for him to check it out as well. So I went ahead and recorded, recorded some gameplay already which I will be showing you very shortly. This, this game is just a concept design so far. There's not much gameplay to be had. There's more of a sandbox style thing where you just kind of check out everything. You get to interact with the world. And there is one little puzzle you can do, which I will be showing you. But anyway, let's go ahead and check it out. Alright guys, so this starts out in a loading room that lets you calibrate the hydras and your rift fairly easy. And you can recalibrate at any time if you get some rift drift or some hydra mess ups. Uh, before we grab that, I'm going to show you guys that you can move your hands around very nicely. You can bend your head, which is really freaking cool. I've seen this before, but in this one, your hands actually kind of move around without pressing anything, or the fingers do at least, which I really like. It kind of adds a, another level of immersion. Because when are your fingers ever perfectly still and static like in a lot of games that you that utilize the rift? You can close your fingers. Whoops. You can pick up objects, of course. I'm gonna kinda <laughs> juggle these things between. But anyway, let's go ahead and start up the actual level. Drop this down over here. Alright, so it starts out with a little bit of commentary. I went ahead and cut it out just to make the video a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and pick up some objects. You can interact pretty much with everything, which is really nice. You can throw stuff around like that. There is a... You can duck. I don't think you can jump or run yet. There is something here that implies there's a key did you know that you can take Let's one see if object I can... in each end simultaneously I don't know where the key is I have already seen this being played like I said I let my friend go ahead and check it out first since it is his game and I wanted to let him play first so I kind of know what to do already Good. You've taken Let's go ahead and object. mess around with some objects now though what? Let's try to unfortunately you can't can't take it off so I can't even drink the damn thing and well it doesn't sound like there's anything in it so just go ahead and break it because it's pretty much useless to me I could use it to create a pile of stuff or throw well, there's a the cell water. phone here which I thought was pretty damn cool you kind of have to break your wrist to to hold it out in front of you you pretty much can just turn it on and off and we're just gonna throw that against the wall too we don't damn cell phone don't work very good now pretty much all these objects you can interact with, pick up, throw around, pretty much whatever you want to do. You can turn the lights on and off. Let's go ahead and go downstairs. Has a very nice little scenic view here. It's kind of hard to see, but this is actually a pool down here that you can get in. Some very comfortable looking couches turn the music on and off you can mess with the fire go ahead and turn that off click the lights on so we can see a little better now there's some more wine over here but of course did you try to juggle oh, with the object see if I can get get something out of there of course not fuck you then maybe Let's I could find a can rubber I, can chicken I? with a pulley in the middle and I could whoops who am I, you ask? Well, Can I break them? No. Trip, and I am a mighty okay, well, no. we're just gonna break them and get them away from here. But everyone calls me Prom, and I am a scientist slash astronaut. I was born in New Berlin in June 5th, 2150. I don't remember anything about my birth, but I guess no one does. Just gonna go ahead and explore in here. Whoa! Damn door shut in my face. Now, like I said, this is just a sandbox. It's There's not really much to do. It's more of a concept to show you what the game could be like. 
we've got a broken mirror here it says never again on it as you can see your shadow does move around just like in the reflection you know that you can take one object in each end simultaneously that's some, some kind of lotion or something here now I thought this was really cool whenever you put your hands close to the water let's go ahead and whoa Sometimes you can get it to lean forward. I'm not exactly for sure how to get it to do it. But oh well. I was going to try to wash my hands here. But anyway. It's pretty much all that's in the bathroom. R really nice, luxurious tub there. Open the damn door and... Now yeah, the key card. Opens the door to the lab. Sorry about that. Very nice little key card. I really like that you have to actually interact with the things to actually do things. So we're going to put that over there and That's a pretty cinematic toss the key card. Like that. It gives this generic moment an emotional climax. Oh, by the way, this will be part of my dad's lab where he does all those kind of crazy experiments. I'll try to grab the cube. No! Come back! Yeah, Alright, so you gotta follow the cube. The hint of what the gameplay is about, they created this meaningless adventure. Don't pay attention and do as I tell you. Follow the cube. It did take my friend a bit to figure out what to do on this part. I mean, I, I had no idea that... We couldn't figure out that there was actually an elevator there. If you notice, these cells open up if you put your hand over. Now we got some type of androids kind of in these capsules. I'm assuming that you get into the virtual reality chairs that are down there and you load a, an android thing to play the game. I'm not completely sure on that though. Go ahead and put my hand over this. Access authorized. Good. Now pick up the cube. Hey. Now, cube. there's a lot of ice around this cube, and we need to melt it. Okay. I really like that the commentary the actually makes fun of the problems. I know it's a demo and some things are not supposed to be finished, but this? Damn. Until games promised me everything would have been perfect. Whatever. Find the kettle, put the cube inside, and melt the ice. I'm not sure if you guys can actually hear what he's saying. He was this making fun of the fact that your hand goes through the ice. In the story. So let me explain you. This is an adventure. Now this part is a bit you laggy. You melt the ice of the cube. So you have to use the ice cube with the kettle. Go ahead and set that then down there. Then use the kettle and ice cube with the cooker. And finally push the button and turn on the fire Oops. of the cooker. I'll keep repeating that until you do it. Alright, so I got me a pan. Place it on there. Now... My friend actually looked through all of these different cabinets. You can open all the cabinets for this pan. And it was just sitting over there the whole time. Still really cool that you can actually interact with pretty much everything in here. Let's go ahead and pick up the ice cube and place it in there. Turn the fire on to heat this bad boy up. And the ice slowly melts off, which is really nice. It doesn't just disappear. And it's gone. Yeah, this cube is a game. A classic puzzle memory solving game. I leave it up to you. You're a smart boy, Simon. You'll know what to do. <coughs> Alright, so the first part, it's this, this is like a Simon Says game. So we're going to turn it on and see what we need to do first. So white, yellow, blue very basic now you don't actually touch it because your hand will kind of freak out just gonna go up to it and press the trigger button white yellow blue oh crap might like I said don't actually touch it because it will screw up white crouch if you press this yellow blue Remember that I can crouch if you press. Remember that I can crouch if you press the stump. 
<laughs> I remember that I can crouch if you press the thumbstick. White. One more level to go past. Everything just turned psychedelic. I feel like I'm in a movie. This part's right? really freaking cool. Oh. Everything kind of goes virtual. Oh God. Old school yes. virtual. This yes. really hot chick in front now of you. I remember the moment I saw with you the her tits kind of hanging the out there. Was shining and my heart stopped beating and our first kiss. Ooh. Oh, God. oh I shit. I miss you so much. Ah, rape! <laughs> Get off me! No! Alright guys, so I have to say this is a really interesting concept for this game. It's probably going to be a really badass game. You can go pick up, pre-order it on their website, which I will leave a link below. And I'm sorry I did cut the video short at the end there. It just it just transitions to the end where it says thank you and all the people that made it and all that stuff. I was having some problems with that part of the video, so I went ahead and cut it out. But anyway guys, the part where you come up to the girl or she comes up to you actually was kind of strange if I don't know how to explain it with having her up in your face uh, was really weird and also kind of really cool it definitely shows the immersion level in VR is pretty strong especially whenever you have your rift and your hydras and you're really immersed into the game just from this concept demo I'm pretty sure this is going to be a really badass game. I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering it now. So anyway, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or game requests, please post them below. If you like this video and would like to see more videos, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.